Hello, uh, my name is Takao with AWR Group of National Instruments. I'm here to talk about 5G system simulation and evaluation using Visual System Simulator. So 5G standard development is rapidly under progress and of course there's need to develop, rapidly pr uh, develop these products. And for that, uh, we have the Visual System Simulator with 5G library. So I'd like to show you a couple uh, new features in version 13 uh, targeted towards uh, 5G development. So first of all, I'd like to show you uh, the new uh, 5G library It's part of the version 13. So we go to the system blocks in Visual System Simulator uh, modulation uh, tab. We'll see the 5G uh, library here, uh, which includes the FBMC modulator, FBMC demodulator, GFDM modulator, GFDM demodulator, and the subcarrier mapper and the subcarrier D mapper for multi-carrier uh, modulation. We also have the standard uh, OFDM with the additional uh, filtering parameters that would be suitable for the 5G uh, specification. So let's set up a link uh, with the 5G uh, FBMC waveform here uh, using the system diagram. Set this up. And we're gonna drop the FBMC modulator and the FBMC demodulator. And we are going to drive this FBMC uh, modulator, we'll say, with a QAM uh, modulation. So we're going to put the QAM mapper and drive this with a random digital source from the source library, like so. And let's pick a, a dot, uh, say a behavioral amplifier in this case for illustration. Connect this together to the demodulator. Um, for the FBMC modulator, we're going to set this output level to be 0 dBm uh, total output power. Uh, let's pick a number of carriers to be 2048 with number of subcarriers, uh, subcarrier spacing to be 120 kilohertz. This is in units of megahertz. And then the center carrier to be, let's say, 28 uh, gigahertz. We're going to set the P1 dB of the amplifier to be near the output power, to just to see the compression. And then we're going to set the uh, test point at output of the modulator output of the amplifier and the output of the demodulator. So let's first look at the output spectrum to see what we have. So for that we set up the graph. Let's call this spectrum. And then add measurement which would be test point one. In the system tab we find the spectrum item power spectrum uh, with default setting and dbm power scale and when we run this we see the fbmc output spectrum and as uh, predicted by the theoretical study of this waveform we see a nice sharp roll off at the outside edge of the band now we're going to look at the output spectrum of the PA by adding the second test point to this graph. And when we test this out, <coughs> we see that the output is now compressed quite heavily. And seeing the spectral regrowth in the spectrum. We can also look at the demodulated uh, performance by checking the output of the demodulator. Uh, let's add another graph. Let's say an IQ graph. And add the IQ measurement by selecting systems, IQ, and this is going to be test point three. And let's pick, uh, say, 100 symbols to display and say OK. When we run this, 
we should see a fairly uh, noisy uh, constellation due to the PA's behavior. So now you saw how easily this link can be set up and you can place the dot of your interest, whether it be amplifiers, filters, or any number of signal chain uh, to these 5G candidate waveforms and test out your devices.